<clears throat> you know, it's something uh, that's not uh, out of the norm for me, taking on something that I'm a, not an expert at and trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. But it's it's given me a great opportunity to learn about something that I, I'm not an expert at, like I said. Um, I kind of feed off the people that are around me, the weapons expert, um, the blade expert, Travis Wirtz, um, Two Lamb. We've kind of got the best of everybody in each given discipline. And so I try to tie it all together with a little bit of excitement. And, um, heck, my wife is a, uh, is a blacksmith, and now I can uh, knowledgeably have a conversation with my wife about uh, forging knives. So, I mean, heck, if, not, if I don't gain anything, I can at least talk at the dinner table uh, coherently with my wife about that process. Uh, there's there's so many cool things that are like just in the, the the process of putting this show together and what we've read about it, what we've seen so far. There's just there's so many extreme athletes and and just unique competitions built in. So what is it about you that drew you to the project? Is it that it's a little bit different for you, or is it getting to see some of these unique talents all put together on one show? Well, part of me as a human being likes a challenge. Um, it's something that wasn't in my wheelhouse from the beginning, but um, in a sense, I, it, it was in that I have uh, an extensive knowledge of the martial arts, um, body movement, and physical application. When it comes to violence or violent acts, I think I have a little bit of experience there. Um, you know, it's, it's just uh, – it, and it's a really cool format. Um, there was a show that I did years and years ago called Bull Run, and it was an automotive – uh, uh, competition and it pitted you know probably six teams and it was pretty it was uh, it ran the gamut of the stereotypes okay you had the two young pretty girls in the BMW you had the two redneck guys in the big truck from Alabama you know um He had the Mexican guy, two Mexican guys in the 57 Chevy. At the end of the day, it was a clear representation of a number of demographics, whereas people could instantly, whether they were blade experts or not, they could instantly have somebody they could either relate to, cheer for or against. And and like in wrestling, all you want people to do is care one way or another. So it's, it's not only a history lesson, it's visually spectacular, like a, like a uh, Ninja Warriors, the course is. Um, you get your element of backstory and knowledge about the blade and forging. And then you get the violent aspect and the in world, the, the, the real time aspect of people running through a competition. And you have two type A alpha males commentating on it in real time, showing their natural reaction. I think it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's a pretty cool combination of a lot of things that make it work. And, like my wrestling career, it was dependent upon a lot of moving parts. And whether it's the guy who created it or the guys who present it or the guys who film it or ultimately the people who run the course, it's a, it's a team effort. And it's a lot of fun being a part of that team.